So, you're ready to start an LLC in Virginia, but don't know where to begin. I'm here to walk you through the entire process, covering the essential steps and other important information you need to know to set up your Virginia LLC. And guess what? It can be done in just a few minutes. Plus, I'll share some helpful tips to help you avoid common mistakes and unnecessary fees. And did you know that some of the most successful companies in Virginia started as LLCs? From local coffee shops to tech startups. Today, I'm going to show you how to join their ranks step by step. Imagine you're about to start your business journey in Virginia. You need the right tools to succeed, and that's where an LLC comes in. It's like a shield that protects you and your personal assets. Plus, it gives you some sweet tax advantages. Now, I know forming an LLC might sound complicated, but I'm going to break it all down for you. By the end of this video, you'll have all the knowledge you need to start your very own LLC and set yourself up for success in Virginia. Let's get started. Crossing the threshold, naming your LLC and appointing a registered agent. All right, we're about to take our first big step in this LLC adventure. It's time to choose a name for your business. This might seem simple, but it's actually super important. In Virginia, your LLC name needs to include the words limited liability company or an abbreviation like LLC or LC. This isn't just a suggestion, it's a rule. But here's the thing, you can't just pick any name you want. Your LLC name needs to be unique. Virginia doesn't allow two businesses to have the same or very similar names. It's like trying to create a username for a website. If someone's already taken it, you need to come up with something else. Now, I've got a pro tip for you. Before you get your heart set on a name, use the Virginia State Corporation Commission's name availability search. It's free, it's easy, and it can save you a ton of headaches down the road. Trust me, you don't want to go through the whole process only to have your application rejected because someone else already has your dream name. Now, let's say you found the perfect name, but you're not quite ready to file your LLC paperwork. No worries. Virginia's got you covered. You can reserve your name for up to 120 days for just $10. It's like putting a hold on that awesome username before someone else snags it. All right, so you've got your name sorted. What's next? Well, every LLC in Virginia needs something called a registered agent. Think of this person as your business's wise mentor. They're there to receive important legal documents on behalf of your LLC. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Your registered agent can't just be anyone. They need to have a physical address in Virginia and be available during regular business hours. It's like having a trusted friend who's always there to collect your important mail. Now, you've got a few options for who can be your registered agent. It could be you, another member of your LLC, or even a professional service. Each option has its pros and cons. If you choose yourself or another LLC member, it's free of course, but your personal address becomes public record. That's why a lot of people go for a professional service. Using a registered agent service typically costs around $10 to $150 per year. It might seem like an extra expense, but it can be worth it for the privacy and peace of mind. Plus, these services are pros at handling important documents, so you don't have to worry about missing something crucial. Here's a quote from the Virginia State Corporation Commission that really drives home how important this role is. The registered agent must have a physical street address in Virginia and be available during normal business hours. This isn't just some small detail. It's a key part of keeping your LLC in good standing with the state. So why is all this so important? Well, Imagine if someone tried to sue your business but couldn't find you to deliver the legal papers. That could lead to all sorts of problems. Your registered agent makes sure that never happens. They're like your LLC's personal mailbox for all the official stuff. The supreme ordeal, filing articles of organization and creating an operating agreement. So, we've made it to the big moment, filing your articles of organization. This is where things get real. But don't worry, I'm here to walk you through it step by step. In Virginia, you need to file something called Form LLC 1011 with the State Corporation Commission. This form is basically your LLC's birth certificate. It's what makes your business official 
in the eyes of the state. Now, you probably might be thinking, that sounds complicated. But trust me, it's not as hard as it seems. You can actually file this form online, which makes the whole process way easier. If you're old school, you can still do it by mail, but online is definitely the way to go nowadays. Now, here's the deal. Filing your articles of organization costs about $100. I know, it might seem like a lot at first, but think about it. This is the cost of bringing your business to life. It's an investment in your future. Once you file this form and it's approved, your LLC officially exists. Congratulations. It's like magic, but with paperwork. You've gone from having an idea to having a real legitimate business. How cool is that? But we're not quite done yet. There's one more thing you need to think about, an operating agreement. Now, Virginia doesn't actually require you to have one of these legally, but let me tell you, it's super important. Think of an operating agreement like a rule book for your LLC. It lays out how your business is going to run, who is in charge of what, and how decisions are going to be made. It's like a roadmap for your business's future. Now, you might be wondering, if it's not required, why should I bother? Well, imagine you're starting a business with your best friend. You think you agree on everything now, which is great, but what happens if you disagree down the line? An operating agreement can help prevent those kinds of conflicts. Plus, it makes your LLC look more legitimate to banks, investors, and other businesses. It shows you're serious about your business and you thought things through. Here's another quote from the Virginia State Corporation Commission that really says how important this is. The operating agreement is like a rule book that ensures all owners and employees know what to expect from the company and minimizes future conflicts. So what should you include in your operating agreements? Well, you'll want to cover things like who owns what percentage of the business, how profits and losses will be shared, who is in charge of making decisions, what happens if someone wants to leave the LLC, and how new members can join. Remember, disagreements can be as simple or as detailed as you want. The important thing is that it works for you and your business. Now, here's the really cool part. By complementing these two steps, filing your articles of incorporation and creating an operating agreement, you've officially created your LLC. You've laid the groundwork for a smooth running business. Give yourself a pat on the back because that's a big deal. The road back, obtaining an EIN and post formation steps. All right, so we've come a long way on our LLC formation journey. You've chosen a name, appointed a registered agent, and filed your articles of organization. But we're not quite done yet. There's one more crucial step to take before your LLC is fully ready for action, obtaining an EIN. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world is an EIN? Don't worry, I've got you covered. EIN simply stands for Employer Identification Number. Think of it as a social security number, but for your business. It's a unique identifier that the IRS uses to keep track of your LLC's tax filings. And here's the thing, an EIN isn't just for taxes. It's actually super important for a bunch of other reasons too. Want to open a business bank account? You'll need an EIN. Planning to hire employees? Yep, you guessed it, <laughs> an EIN is required. It's like a golden ticket that unlocks all sorts of business opportunities. Now, you're probably thinking, great, Another complicated form to fill out, right? But here's the awesome part. Getting an EIN is really easy. And the best part, it's completely free. That's right, you don't have to pay a single cent to get your EIN. Here's how it works. You just head over to the IRS website and fill out a simple online form. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes to complete. Seriously, it's that quick. And once you submit the form, you will get your EIN right away. No waiting no hassle. But let me give you a heads up. When you're filing out the EIN application, you'll need some specific information about your LLC. Things like your business address and details about the managing members. So make sure you have that info handy before you start. Now, if you're running a single member LLC without any employees, you technically could use your personal social security number instead of an EIN. But trust me, getting an EIN is still a smart move. It helps keep your personal and business finances separate, which is super important for protecting your personal liability. 
Okay, so now you've got your EIN. What's next? Well, there are a few more things you need to take care of to keep your LLC in good standing with Virginia. First up, you need to pay an annual registration fee. In Virginia, this fee is $50 and is due by the last day of the month in which you formed your LLC. So if you formed your LLC in June, you'd need to pay by June 30th each year. And here's a pro tip. Don't be late with this payment because if you miss the deadline, you'll get hit with a $25 penalty. And that's not fun. But here is some good news for you. Unlike some other states, Virginia doesn't require LLCs to file annual reports. That's one less thing you have to worry about. Now, let's talk about keeping your business finances in order. One of the best things you can do for your LLC is to open a separate business bank account. This isn't just a suggestion, it's really important. Mixing your personal and business finances can lead to all sorts of problems down the line. And while we're on the topic of finances, here's another piece of advice for you. Consider hiring an accountant. I know, I know, it might seem like an unnecessary expense at first, but a good accountant can actually save you money in the long run. They can help you navigate the complexities of business taxes and make sure you're not missing out on any deductions. Lastly, don't forget about business licenses and permits. Depending on what kind of business you're running and where you're located in Virginia, you might need specific licenses or permits to operate legally. It's worth doing some research or talking to a business advisor to make sure you've got all your bases covered. Your Virginia LLC success awaits. Finally, we've made it. Your Virginia LLC journey is almost complete. Let's talk about why this was all worth it. With an LLC, you get awesome protection for your personal assets. That means that if your business hits a rough patch, your personal stuff is protected. Plus, you get some of that sweet tax benefits too. Now, I know we've covered a lot, but don't worry if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. There's an easy way to make sure you get everything right. Just click the link in the description of this video to check out Registered Agents Inc. Trust me, these guys know their stuff. They'll handle all the paperwork for you. Plus, you get a full year of registered agent service, a free domain name, website, phone number, and even a business email address for 90 days. It's like having a pro team in your corner. Don't wait this, guys. Get your LLC started today and set yourself up for success. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your LLC, and I'll catch you soon.